Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Let's look at a slightly more advanced feature in Excel using the IF function and using IF in conjunction with NOT, AND or OR where they will be embedded into the IF statement and then lastly we'll look at the function IF ERROR. Now you'll notice that some of the cells for example G8 has a little red triangle there is a comment in that cell and when we click on the cell we can see the comment which in this case I have shown the formula so that you can uh, easily read it when you download the file for practice sake for free from the website. The link to the free file is in, this, in the description below this video. So let's look at a simple if statement. If F8 is greater than B4 and you'll notice that in B4 in the formula we've made that absolute because of the um, fact that we always want that cell referred to. If that is true then multiply F8 by 5% but if that is not true in other words if F8 is less than or equal to B4 then show the words no commission. No commission is in double quotes because it is text. So that's a fairly straightforward if statement. Let's look at the next worksheet and here we see the commission the cell has a formula in it if F8 is greater than or equal to F5 in other words 8500 and in this case we're using the greater than or equal to you'll notice that the equal sign must follow the greater than or if it was less than must follow those signs so if F8 is greater than or equal to F5 and again we've used an absolute value for F5 then multiply F8 by 2% otherwise show the word none so in this case we can simply see that the uh, uh, greater than or equal sign can be used now the training completed that was entered in by typing in text the year end bonus here says if and here we have the AND statement. The AND statement requires two arguments. The first one is F8 greater than 10,000 and H8 that is has the training be completed which is also a requirement to get a year end bonus if that is equal to yes, again in double quotes, then multiply F8 by 10%. If that is, both of those aren't true, then show the word no. So in this case, in this test, we can see the total sales are not greater than 10,000. In this case, the same thing applies even though the sales were greater than 10,000 the training had not been completed so that was a requirement in the formula that both of those had to be true in this cell when we copied the formula down we saw that the sales exceeded 10,000 the training would be completed therefore the answer was yes Uh, my apologies, the answer was the actual bonus amount uh, or the answer was no. Now the winner's circle, who went into the winner's circle? Well in this case we said if F8 is greater than 12,000 show the word yes but if that is not the case show two double quotes which, which means show a blank cell. So two double quotes, blank cell. Further training required? Well, let's have a look here. The formula is now using the NOT function and it reads if H8 is not equal to yes 
then show the word yes otherwise show the word no you might glean that not if not h8 equals yes is the same as saying if h8 equals no but uh, just to use the not function which is used in other areas once you can see the uh, uh, the reason and the logic behind it if error here we have some total sales and some unit prices by dividing the total sales by the unit prices we achieve the number of units sold but some of the unit prices have been left off we cannot divide by zero therefore we need to have in this case an if error function in this cell which was then copied down the column and it read if error when dividing B7 by C7 if there is an error then show the text check the unit price so there we go that's been copied down and it now dividing B8 by C8 up here in the formula cannot do there be an error message there so uh, check unit price so here you'll see that we've expanded the use of the if statement uh, it is not difficult remember you can as I mentioned before download the file for free uh, in fact what I'll do I'll upload two files one will be this particular file with the answers in it and I'll also upload the basic file which does not have the formulas in the cell so that you can practice entering them in yourself don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now